installment of the Wasting All the Time Open Access Interview Series. My name is John, and I'm here today with Mr. Eric McDermott of Learnersville. Hello, nice to be here. Hi there, and um, it's wonderful to have you here. I understand that uh, you're promoting a festival in Learnersville? That's right. It's the, the first ever Learnersville Lettuce Festival. Wow! Our slogan is, let us feast at the Learnersville Lettuce Festival. Let us let us oh, feast. Oh, let us! I I get. Oh, okay. I, mm-hmm. That's clever. I like mm-hmm. that. Uh huh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. So, um, I guess my first question is: I usually think of, you know, winter as not really a great growing season. I mean, why would you uh, choose to have this festival at this time? Well, um, there were uh, several reasons that all came together. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them just being general scheduling. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, when when the fairgrounds were open and uh, so on. But also, uh, not a lot of people know lettuce is a cool weather crop. And oh, And it does really? best in the cooler temperatures. Okay. So that that would make sense. So... Uh... Yeah, it's not a mistake that they that they call uh, some of the the one one type of variety of lettuce iceberg oh. lettuce. <laughs> oh, okay, well there we go. So it. I mean, it's not because of the, the temperatures, but um, uh, it's anyway. It's, it's it's just a coincidence. Okay, so so actually, this is an appropriate time to be harvesting lettuce. Then, well, yeah, absolutely. Wow. Well, I I didn't know that. I didn't you you learn something new every day? I guess. Uh, I've certainly learned a lot by uh, putting putting together this festival. Uh huh. So, uh, so let me. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about Learnersville. I mean, what uh, what brought this on? Why did they decide? You know, lettuce festival. Well, you know, it's a it's a long and, and interesting story. Uh, mm-hmm. Learnersville. Uh, I'm not from Learnersville myself. Okay. Um, I'm actually uh, living in uh, Saint Cloud, Minnesota, at the moment. Mm-hmm. But I've come out here to Learnersville to um, to uh, to help put this together. I've been here for uh, almost a month now. Oh wow! So, on the ground, boots on the ground, yeah. <laughs> as they say. Um, well, Learn- Learnersville uh, was was very nearly the lettuce capital of the West. Oh, okay. There was a time when Learnersville was set up to to be the, one of the biggest producers of lettuce in the nation, and it never actually panned out. Oh. Um, it was uh, during during the lead up to World War II, uh-huh. and uh, the, you know they had all this great tillable land, arable mm-hmm. land, and um, and they had been making out plans uh-huh. to uh, to plant lettuce further, to you know to turn all these different fields into lettuce uh-huh. fields and really focus wow. on on making a product that and, they could be proud of. And so this would have made them the uh, the lettuce capital of the. The Western states. Yes, the the most, the highest concentration of lettuce growers in the West. Wow! Well, so that's that's got to be quite a feather in the cap of Learnersville. It w- would have been yes. Um, however, what 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 happened was that there was a um, a prospector. Mm-hmm. You can see where this is going. A prospector who um, who was doing a little bit of mining around, and mm-hmm. and he discovered. You know what he found, right? This is it's the same story that's happened time and time again. He struck gold? Rubidium. Oh. Actually, he found rubidium. Mm-hmm. And um so they they brought in a team to mm-hmm. do some surveying and uh they decided to switch gears and mine rubidium instead of planting oh, wow. lettuce. So now what exact uh so rubidium, I'm not familiar with that mineral. Um well, yeah, it's a uh, it has some uses, industrial uses, but it's oh. not that it's not really that valuable. Turns oh, out. Oh, okay. Um, and there wasn't but, that that much of it either. Oh, there. W- well, it just if it's not that valuable, and I I had assumed that the reason that Learnersville decided to mine would have been that there was a vast quantity. I mean, yeah, that's well, the they, only way that's. There were some people early on who did think so, who did uh-huh. think there was going to be a lot of it. Um, they did some surveying. There's some people with dowsing rods who who planted little flags and said uh-huh. wherever they thought rubidium was, mm. and um, you know, for better or worse, people took them at their word. I see. Um, so now, if you drive through Learnersville, then you see the you know just mining facility after mining facility mm-hmm. where all the lettuce would have been grown. I see. So um, after the war, 
the financial situation of the town sort of uh, went downwards. There were some people mm. who did make a little bit of profit. Uh-huh. Off the rubidium, but then okay, um, and so they they, they left. Bis- oh, so the town has not been in the best shape. So uh-huh. that's really why we're putting on this festival. We're trying to increase the tourism uh-huh. and um, get more people to come visit. And nice. so, so you've got some great some some great tourist spots. It sounds like. Well, we're uh, the fairgrounds are, are pretty sizable, mm-hmm. and we're gonna we're gonna put together this festival. We have put together this mm-hmm. festival. Um, most of the details are all all in order, and uh, we're gonna so you know come for the festival and stay for the we yeah stay for um the uh so nothing really uh sticks out to you then like do you have a great well like art deco movie theater or no that got sometimes that got uh that got turned into an adult theater oh uh in the late 70s ah um and then subsequently it's been torn down um there is i you know i i don't i don't know why i didn't think of this sooner uh, you know, the Lumpak River goes right by us there, uh-huh. and we, um, I say we, I feel like I live there, <laughs> been there for so many weeks, and uh, I really feel like I've grown uh-huh. to be part of this town. Well, that's um, wonderful, very welcoming community. Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we, we, um, we took a big excavator uh-huh. down to the Lumpak River, and what they did is they dug a hole. And then they kind of put up some big boulders in a little semicircle mm-hmm. along the bank. So there's a there's a really nice swimming hole there now. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Absolutely. So, uh, so a kind of natural little little swimming hole there. Well, that's artificial. I mean, we, we they put it in. But, right, uh, but I mean the kids like it. So, well, you know, some of the kids, the, the Johnson kids like it. Uh huh. They're still around. Oh, that's that's great. Yeah. So the Johnsons, a, a big family out there. Yeah, pretty pretty big. They got like eight children. Oh, uh, so like, so they're, I mean they're they're important to the town. The Johnsons in particular. Yeah, they they live there. Yeah. Uh huh. So they're they're part of the town leadership then. Uh, well, is that the mayor's family? No, not not exactly. No, um, the mayor doesn't live in Lernersville. Oh, um, he, the Johnson family does live in, uh-huh. in Lernersville, although Mr. Johnson commutes over to Pawtucky to uh, to work. Uh-huh. So if the mayor of Lernersville doesn't live in Lernersville, how does that work? Uh, he commutes. He, we, we, we see ourselves sort of as a, sort of a commuter town, uh, honestly. I see. But... Um, you know, once once uh, once we get this uh, lettuce festival going, I think it's gonna things are gonna turn around. Fantastic. Yeah, I think you'll you'll see us, Lernersville. You'll see it us you'll see us on the map. You know, <laughs> we'll be there. Yeah, we're yeah, already I, listed I was, in a couple bulletins. Uh-huh. Yeah, so. I was noticing that you don't appear on any of my uh, any of my state maps here. Yes, it's a, uh, it's still technically an unincorporated. It's it's interesting. I mean, they have a mayor, uh-huh. but it's unincorporated. Okay. It's it's you know, we're we're really looking to change a lot. Wow. So what with um, this with this festival? Fantastic. Lots riding on it, honestly. Uh huh. But uh, I understand that you were hired by the city council for this. Yes. That's right. Um, I I do put on events mm-hmm. uh, all around the country. Uh, like I said, I, I live in Saint Cloud, Minnesota. Right. Um, with my family. Uh-huh. I have uh, two two German shepherds, oh, okay. and a labradoodle. <laughs> That's my family. Um, that Wonderful. I couldn't bring them with me, unfortunately. The housing that they have set set up for me out here is uh, is not uh, not suitable for for my pets. But uh, oh, that's too bad. I you know I would think that a small town kind of rural area would be a perfect place for dogs. Yeah, yeah, you'd think that. Okay, well, uh, so 
I know this isn't on the the official interview docket, but I'd love to know a little bit more about about you, about your, you know, how did you get into this business? Oh, uh, sure. Well, you know, it started uh, when I was in high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was on the planning committee for the senior ball. Oh. And uh, I, I like to say I, I had a ball <laughs> putting together the, the uh, ball. The city. Wonderful. This is the senior ball. And, um, uh, you know, it just it just sparked something in me that mm-hmm. uh, let me know that uh, putting things together, you know, all the the logistics and the mm-hmm. planning and the thinking and and all that has really appealed to me. And um, so when I when I got to college, you know, I, I did my sort of liberal arts education, uh-huh. but I but I really you know continued to do some planning on the side. I've done mm. I've done wedding plannings. Uh-huh. I've done you know plannings for corporate events, for private parties, uh, we, uh, uh, graduations. Mm-hmm. Um, I've and I've sort of become a, a contractor of sort, a private in you know individual contractor uh-huh. and um you know i so i do all sorts of events and and i've really sort of been building up to doing more festivals you right. know right well and last so last summer i i put together a uh a folk music festival uh-huh. by the near, near the uh the eel river and um well how did that go oh it was a raging success it was great you awesome. know a lot of people are really appreciating that kind of music again yes yes i've heard that yeah, um, there was that uh, that film that came out a while ago, um, uh, A Mighty Wind, that seemed to really reignite a lot of that. Well, that was a very that. that was a very silly movie, but um, yeah, I think there was a, I think there was uh, some element of truth to that. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. So uh, yeah. now you're. So now I'm I'm here. I have been busy as a bee, uh-huh. putting putting all the stuff together, making all the arrangements. Um, I mean, you know, there's going to be uh, there's going to be all sorts of activities for the kids. You know, face painting and bounce houses, and uh, you know, traditional because this is this is really a looking back kind of a festival. Oh, okay, looking back to what might have been. Yeah, a what if sort of a scenario, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, so they're going to have a beanbag toss. <laughs> and you know it was those old fashioned kind oh. of kind of things where Mr. Johnson's oldest son has put together um, some rings and sticks, you know uh-huh. the stick and ring that old you know the old ring and stick oh, and you hit it and twirl them around and throw them and stuff the ones that you like you you roll them along the ground and hit them with the stick oh oh, those ones, yeah, really looking back into an old older nice. time it's gonna be very uh uh, retro is what they, oh, they yeah. say. Yeah, that is that is a word that's being used a lot these days. Uh-huh. Retro. Uh huh. Well, that's that sounds fantastic. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to take just a short break right now, and uh, when we come back, we'll talk a little bit more about the festival. The Wasting All the Time Open Access Interview Series is sponsored in part by Mirlin Light. Brewed using only the most expensive ingredients found on seven different continents, Mirlin Light has all the pomp and ceremony of a great craft beer, but without all the flavor. For a limited time, you can head into your local liquor store and pick up a case of our holiday brew, Mirlin Kalikimaka. It has the same refreshing tap water taste of Mirlin Light, but in a festive and more expensive bottle. Mirlin Kalikimaka. Enjoy. Hello and welcome back. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is the Wasting All the Time Open Access Interview Series. I'm John, and I'm here with Mr. Eric McDermott. Hello. And Mr. McDermott is organizing a lettuce festival in the town of Lernersville. That's correct. Uh Uh-huh. Let us feast at the Lernersville Lettuce Festival. Yes. Yes, that is the slogan. We, uh, we... 
we did have we were we you know did did have some other ideas for some some slogans, but we thought that we would leave well enough alone. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. You know, because the leaves is the main. Uh, that's the main part of the lettuce. Right. Is the leaves. So uh, was was it the city council coming up with some of these? Uh, yeah, in in large part, yes. Uh huh. It sounds like something. A city council would come up. With. You know they they're very they, you know they're they're a good group of people. They're pretty mm. fun. Nice, nice. Well, that's that's great to hear. Now, one thing I want to talk to you about uh, that I think is just the most inspiring part of this story is the way that you're going back to what many people might say is is a big mistake in Lunersville history and trying to right that wrong. Um, the uh, the mm. decision to to pursue mining instead of becoming a a lettuce cultivating locale. Well, um, you know, it's it's uh, it's hard to argue that um, I'm not, so I won't. Uh, there is definitely a lot of um, a hindsight mm-hmm. built into this festival. Looking right. back, you know, and. Uh, Maybe a little bit of a sort of, you know, one to have a little bit of revisionist history in a, in a, in a sense, um, you know, romanticizing mm-hmm. the past. But, um, I mean, there are there are a lot of people uh, who, who really do wish that the mining never happened. Mm-hmm. Um, farmers, for one. Right. Um, you know, there's... One, once, you, one, once they went down that rubidium road, mm-hmm. as I say, um, you... They really just can't come back in the same way, uh, you know. For for example, um, roughly fifteen percent of the land within Lernersville mm-hmm. um, has been uh, declared a Superfund site. Oh dear! Um, there were lots of uh, sort of, you know, it was a different time, and regulation wasn't quite the same as it is now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, thankfully now we have a a much stronger EPA and, right, yeah. and an EPA at all. Uh-huh. Uh, um, but uh, there were a lot of uh, industrial accidents and mm-hmm. spills, and uh-huh. um, and so oh, what an undertaking it must have been to uh, to start cleaning that up. Yeah, well, it's a uh, it's ongoing. The federal team is, has uh, slated the uh, the cleanup to begin in about twenty twenty or so. Oh, so it's it's actually not been addressed yet well i mean it's been addressed in so far as it's been um designated okay and um it's on the list so so you've been cultivating the new crop of lettuce around the superfund sites then no there there isn't um there isn't really enough enough ground to use anymore uh, a lot of the a lot of the land that would have been farmable um you know as in not covered with toxic uh-huh. uh, materials um you know that a lot of that's been built over uh mm-hmm. so you know, we're not actually growing um most of the lettuce oh uh at all it's being we're bringing it in from other other places from so it's it's a lettuce festival tied to a town where lettuce was once going to be a very important part but you're not actually growing the lettuce there no i mean there's there's a reason why we don't why Lernersville is not the lettuce capital of the world uh-huh. or the west uh, or even you know the local area it's just not enough i mean there's some people with backyard uh-huh. gardens and i think we're, we're probably going to have a couple heads of lettuce that have been grown locally okay. you know and like in greenhouses uh-huh. and, stuff like that but um in large part it's going to be brought in from other places because it's just it's it's a lettuce festival and you need a lot of lettuce mm-hmm. to make salads right different right. kinds of it's salads just, i i um i guess i just grilled lettuce grilled lettuce yeah you can grill lettuce oh especially the the hot you know there's 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 like seven different varieties of lettuce oh okay some of the, some of them have like a strong stalk this this stiff leaf oh, uh-huh. lettuce that's it's really good for grilling. Huh. I that never would have occurred to me. Yeah. Oh, I guess I just assumed somehow that that this was part of an attempt to bring lettuce growing back to Lernersville. It's 
It's an attempt to bring lettuce back to Lernersville. Ah. More so than than lettuce growing. Uh I mean, that ship, (laughs) that ship has long since sailed. Um, So there's not even plans to maybe, you know, use the revenue from this festival to then... Aerate well, well, and there will till be, that um, land. We we certainly are hoping that there will be revenue, uh-huh. um, and and there it will be put to use by the Lawrenceville City Council. Um, they have, you know, all sorts of plans. I'm not really privy to it mm-hmm. um, because I'm not a resident. But um, right. uh, I do know that this is this is likely to be a big success and an ongoing, you know, annual tradition. We hope to reflect on the the history of the town mm-hmm. and um you know there's lots of history there that sounds like there is yeah they have an old fire truck oh that's cool that's um they have an old fire truck there that's 80 years old so it's pretty old wow and so that'll be on display N- oh sorry no i mean it, it'll be there uh-huh. Um, but it'll be there. I mean, that is that is the fire truck that they still use. Oh. So it'll, it'll be there, like, part of their paramedic, um, to, you know, because there's going to be some events that have fire. And, and uh-huh. So that's just the fire truck, then? That is the fire truck, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can you can drop by the station any day of the week and, and take a look. Uh-huh. Um, but I just, it is old, and I thought I'd... Mm-hmm. Point that out. There's history. There is history there. Yeah, a lot of things in this town uh-huh. are um are older. Wow. So uh, perhaps you know um they could they could get a, a, another fire truck with um with the proceeds from the festival. Right. You never yeah. know. And and put the current one in some kind of a an auto museum. Well, probably two is better than one. Well. Maybe. I mean, how big a town is Lernersville? It's not very big, is it? No, it's um it's only about twenty five square miles or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you get a lot of fires out there? Well, um, you know, I don't really know for sure, uh mm-hmm. living in Saint Cloud. But um since I've been here there have been at, at, at least a dozen or so. Oh, a a dozen in a in a few weeks? Yeah, I, I think so, yeah. You know, it's all part of this uh, small town atmosphere that we're trying to revitalize, you know? Uh-huh. These, uh, those Johnson kids really get around. <laughs> I see. Okay. Um, so, the lettuce for this festival, uh, you've said, is not, in fact, coming from Lernersville. It's being shipped Correct, in yeah. from elsewhere. That's right. Um, and so, how is that going to be coordinated? Well, there's a, there's a whole fleet of trucks mm-hmm. um, on their way as we speak. Uh huh. Um, they're going to be delivering the lettuce fresh fresh to uh, to the to the festival mm-hmm. this weekend. Um, you know, we've got we've got a special uh, uh, storage area where we can keep things cool, mm-hmm. and. Um, uh, we'll have all the lettuce dropped off there, and then we'll we'll, uh, we'll be able to start making things out of lettuce, uh-huh. and uh, and you know there'll be lettuce crafts and all sorts of things, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so yeah, we're shipping them in, mm-hmm. um, yeah, we're 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 bringing it in from uh, places that do grow that lettuce, do grow lettuce. Uh-huh. Um, we're getting all all different, we're getting all all the varieties, uh-huh. uh huh. So, so all seven, seven is that what you said? Well, we're get, we're gonna we're getting six. Of them, uh, one the the first like the main use of one of the lettuce is uh, just for the seeds. Actually, we well, you know the ancient Egyptians um, they mm-hmm. domesticated the lettuce plant. It used to be like a weed, oh, uh-huh. and uh, they would they would t- take the seeds and make an oil out of it. And so that that still happens, mm-hmm. and that's one of the varieties is is more for that. Oh, okay, so and so that oil will then be used in the cooking of. Other lettuce products? Uh, that it, that's entirely possible. Um, no one's actually tried that yet. Oh, okay. so it's going to be one of sort of a more experimental sort of a thing. Uh huh. Um, well, there you go, bringing I mean, bringing together small town life and experimental science. Yeah, that's... so we will have some lettuce oil, um, and then maybe a couple example plants, but we're not going to bring in. We're not shipping in a lot of that. Oh, okay. Not not uh, not to this. Yeah. 
Maybe next year, though, huh? Well, you know, you know uh, anything's possible. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. You know, if, if this goes well, then uh, I'm sure that we'll have more resources available for the next time. Yeah, yeah, and then maybe uh, you can start working on on growing some lettuce right there in Lernersville, huh? Well, um, maybe, you know, after, after 2020. Wouldn't that be exciting? When they clean it up. Um, that, that would be terribly exciting. I would mm-hmm. love to see that. Yeah. Well, and I mean, maybe, I mean, you get Lernersville on the map with this stuff and, and maybe they'll move that, that cleanup date back a little bit. You know, it's a, it just takes a couple, uh, a couple of handshakes uh-huh. up on Capitol Hill, you know? <laughs> Uh, you, don't I know it? You never know. We can find out, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, maybe we start having uh, a more people coming to Learnersville, you know. Uh huh. And uh, I mean, you know, it is possible that uh, there will be some sort of high tech farming operations interested in coming, setting up greenhouse. Oh yeah. Where they, um, you know, they bring in the greenhouse structure from from somewhere Mm -hmm. and they install it in Lernersville and then they ship in dirt Uh from somewhere else and and they put it in the greenhouse and then they get lettuce seeds from somewhere Uh and they grow them and then we you know it could be a a Lernersville you know a real moment of pride for Lernersville that this is all here you know right yeah that they've brought all this stuff from somewhere else yeah to Lernersville. Probably need to bring in some farmers as well. Oh, not a big farming community there? It hasn't been, no. Okay. Not not not, not since, since the you know. Yeah, the mining mm-hmm. happened. Mm-hmm. It's a real um it's a real hurdle. That past. Yeah, yeah. It it seems to be. Well but the good news is uh you're on it. Well, I am on it. Yeah, uh, Eric McDermott reporting for duty. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, and the city council seems to have their their heads screwed on right. You know, hiring someone like you to. Well, I I appreciate that. It uh-huh. uh, it hasn't been easy, but um, it's been a joy. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, that's great to hear. It's uh, you know it's been it's been really nice, and I I don't know if I'll be if I'll be brought back uh-huh. for a uh, number two. Uh, next year, but um, I'm, I've got. I, I feel like I really set up. I feel like I've really set up something good. You know, something I set up things right so they can continue. Um, oh, I'm sorry. That's that's embarrassing. Oh, um, you know what? It's that's all right. It's about time for us to take a break right now. Anyway, so uh, we'll be uh, right back after these. Uh... All right. Thank you. Thank you. The Wasting All the Time Open Access Interview Series is sponsored in part by the Stickball Billiard Hall, who are excited to announce that they are now under new management, following the arrest of Paul Stacy for drug trafficking, embezzlement, and grand larceny. Now you can enjoy the classic ambiance you've come to expect from the Stickball Billiard Hall, but with the added convenience of kegged beer and actual fucking pool cues. Mention this ad and get any basket of tater tots for half price. We're proud to sponsor the Open Access Interview Series. Hello and welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is the Wasting All the Time Open Access Interview Series. I'm John and I'm here with Mr. Eric McDermott, Mm -hmm. uh, who is organizing the first annual Lernersville lettuce festival that's 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 correct i've put a lot a lot of planning into Uh into this well it it certainly sounds like it i'd love to i'd love to uh you know we've talked about the history of the town we've talked about how um Mm -hmm. you know as a result of the the mining operations there um it kind of missed its opportunity to be i sure did a big yeah lettuce producing area Mm-hmm. And uh, and you're trying to kind of rekindle, recapture that past uh, by having this festival. And yeah, I tried. Yeah. Uh huh. And mm-hmm. and so because of some, you know, hopefully temporary situation, <laughs> uh, you're you're actually bringing in all the lettuce for this 
festival. Isn't that right? Mm. Yeah, we um, there's there's no lettuce at uh, Gronin in Learnersville, so uh-huh. the, the idea was we'd ship it in, right, from places that do that do grow it. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, uh, I'd love to. You know, we we talked about all that. Now I'd love to get to the the nitty gritty of 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 the actual festival because it just it really sounds great. I mean, yeah, your well, your initial write up that you sent us it's uh, uh, looked like a lot of fun. It's sure to be it's sure to be a good a good time mm-hmm. for the, for families. Uh huh. Um, there, like I said before, there's going to be um, a bounce house. Oh, those are and, always fun. Uh, face painting uh-huh. and uh, bean yeah. bag toss. Yeah, and and. All kind, I'm sure, all kinds of really interesting uh, lettuce dishes for us <laughs> to sample. Um, all, you know, all the, all that great there will festival be, food. There will be dishware uh-huh. that looks like lettuce leaves. Oh, oh, so cool. So you're, you're right, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So is that is that going to be m- being made locally? No, that's um, that's being brought in. Also, also brought from in? elsewhere. I mean, a lot of this stuff is being brought in uh-huh. from elsewhere. Um, so, so, but I mean, but it's, it's the, the town's own, you know, labor and wherewithal that's going to be running the festival. So that's, that's what's important. Well, um, you know, the Johnsons are really pitching in some elbow grease. Uh-huh. Um, they sound like you're a great family. Um, well, yeah, I mean, great as in large. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, well, so yeah, so you're going to have... And the fairgrounds are there. I mean, it's not like... Right, yeah. It's not like we're bringing in a fairground from somewhere else. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Because so then who knows what would happen. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. I mean, that would, that would be quite an undertaking, bringing in a whole fairgrounds. I... Yeah, that would have been an undertaking, uh-huh. you know? It might <laughs> yeah. not, that might not have worked, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. That would have actually been hard mm-hmm. to do. Yeah. So, but uh, the you'd lettuce... you'd almost understand if it didn't work, you know. Right. <laughs> you'd almost understand. Right. But uh, yeah, the the lettuce is going to be shipped in, and you're gonna mm. you're gonna have that for for the festival, and, and I mean, it's, there, and it's there, on its way right now. There will be there will be other things as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, if we're gonna have corn dogs. Corn dogs, a uh, standby of 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 small, you know, fairs and such. Absolutely, even big fairs. Yeah, you know, the state fair here in California. We uh, we there's a lot of corn dogs. Corn dogs, you know, yeah. Fried food. Oh, uh, there's. Uh, are you going to have some deep fried lettuce? Is that going to be um? Is that going to be one of the dishes? Um, we we do we do we do um. The, there is. Fried lettuce on the menu. Uh huh. Wow. Mm-hmm. And so we'll be able to come and get some fried fried lettuce, deep fried lettuce. You well, because we'll I mean that's uh huh. Well, we'll yeah, it might sell out fast. I mean that that stuff is always it's, popular. It's, it's uh, well, the the lettuce is definitely going to sell out fast. Uh huh. Um. So you've got uh, some good. Uh, Sorry, are you all right over there? Well, uh, um, I think I, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Um, I don't. I don't really want to. I don't really want to do this anymore. Uh, what? What do you mean, Mister McDermott? Um, oh, right. It was the last the last break, I got a a, a telephone call. Uh huh. And, um, oh dear, are, are you all right, Mr. McCormick? Is everything okay? The, um, are your dogs all right? Is it something with your dogs? No, Linda, Linda, Jason, and Timothy are fine. Okay. Um, well, I'm sure it can't be that bad. The, um, the trucks, the, um, the lettuce trucks. The 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 trucks with with the lettuce. Um, 
apparently, um, yeah, yeah. Hmm. you know, in the um, complex, well, well, complex systems uh, have several uh, points of, of, of potential failure. Uh huh. Right. And um, that the same the same is is true of um, large uh, plan planning events. Uh-huh. And the um, the tr- the trucks with the lettuce. Uh huh. Are. I mean, they were not en route. No, yeah. Well, they. They were they were en route absolutely. Uh huh. Um, they they are on en route to Learnersville. Mm hmm. Ohio. Oh dear. Oh dear. In is um yeah that's correct. Um. There, uh, there was a, a mistake at the depot. Uh huh. Um, apparently, I've been made aware that uh, all the lettuce went to Learnersville, Ohio, instead of this Learnersville where the festival is. Huh. And um, is um. So all of the lettuce, all of the lettuce is going there. Uh. It's there. It's it's on its way. It's it's arriving there uh, as we speak. Oh no. And um is um it's not in our budget to 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 ship it um back. It, We'd have to ship it back by air as soon as it arrives and that's just not we don't have that money. We don't have that time. So I'm I'd like to ask you a a question now, it, um, and uh, I apologize if it's if it brings up any feelings. Um, is Learnersville, Ohio, on the map? Well, John, but perhaps if they have a lettuce festival. Then they'll be on the map. I just mean maybe that's where this confusion arose from. Since, I don't know. Um, uh, your Learnersville is literally not. I don't know on the map. Hmm. I don't know how this could have happened. Um, I don't know what to do. Honest, honestly, um, in my. 20, 25 years of experience of uh-huh. arranging, planning, putting uh-huh. together, working out, making all these things happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, this this uh, some uh, an event of this magnitude has has never happened mm. to me uh-huh. before. Right. Um, and uh, wow, that it's happening uh, all on air during this interview. That's um well that well this isn't gonna go up right uh well i i don't know i mean we we need to have some kind of an episode um, i mean we can't i mean what am i supposed to say now i'd be like oh come to the lettuce festival b y o l bring your uh, own lettuce well that that would that, be uh I mean, I feel like um, I've got to go. I've got to go shopping now. I mean, I feel uh, like I have to go to every well, grocery store in a fifty-mile radius well, to get even a little bit of lettuce. I, and they do they, anything drastic here, uh, Eric. <sighs> um, I mean, maybe I should just go home at this point. I don't. I don't know how you know. Come, I don't want my face painted. Uh huh. I don't know what there is for me here. Well, you bring up a good point. There'll still be the face painting at the festival. The corn dogs. Corn dogs. There's no lettuce and corn dogs, right? We were going to wrap. We were going to wrap them in lettuce. Instead of corn or in no, addition? No, in addition to. Hmm. 
Uh-huh. You make the corn dog, and then you wrap it with lettuce and put mm-hmm. a toothpick through. Huh. All right, well, why don't we, um, it's it's a little early, but why don't we uh, take another break so we can regroup and process. Mm. Um, and, um, and hopefully you'll, you'll stay and we can, we can talk about this. We can talk about this more then. Okay. 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 John, all right. All right. The Open Access Interview Series is sponsored in part by the Sacramento Public Library System. With nearly 2 million items in circulation, the Sacramento Public Library, or SPL, is the largest system in California. Founded in 1857, the SPL has not lost its edge in the 21st century. Computers, e-readers, and digital card catalogs are available for use if members of the homeless population aren't taking a nap in your way. Got kids who don't know what to do with themselves? Drop them off at the library for an afternoon so they can play Facebook games and scream loudly at one another for no goddamn reason. Our librarians have been trained not to interfere with those breaking the library rules, so no worries there. Besides, they have plenty of librarian duties to do already, like looking things up on eBay. So come on down to your local Sacramento Public Library branch and see what's new in your neighborhood. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Wasting All the Time Open Access interview series. I'm John, and I'm here with my guest, Eric McDermott. Hello. Uh, who um, He is in charge of organizing the Lettuce Festival in Lernersville. Um, Let us feast at the Lernersville Lettuce Festival festival right um and um we've actually just in the course of this interview uh discovered that something really uh, really terrible has happened and the lettuce that was going to be shipped in for the festival um for those of you just joining us learnersville uh does not actually grow their own lettuce as of yet um the lettuce that was going to be shipped in uh, was mistakenly shipped to a different Lernersville, one that... That's we, right, John. We, Lerner, Lernersville, Ohio. Yes, and we did check. It It does, in fact, appear on maps. Yeah, it's there. Uh, it's right there. So we're thinking that that's probably the cause of the confusion. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're going to... We're gonna, try and figure it out. We're going to try and figure it out right here on air um, because uh, Mr. McDermott is a nice gentleman and um, Lernersville sounds like uh, a town town worth helping out. So we're going to make we're going to make something happen. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that's that's what I was hired for. Uh I was hired to to put on a festival. Uh Uh-huh. They wanted it to be a lettuce festival. I I wanted it to be a lettuce festival. Mm-hmm. We all wanted it to be right. a lettuce festival. No, yes. Because Lernersville has this great history with lettuce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But even though it was never technically grown there. It was going to be. Right. It absolutely I mean, it's on the record. Mm-hmm. It's there I mean, we we, we have documents. Right, right. You showed me a few of them. We have as those documents. As part of the pre-interview, yeah. We um, we have we have maps uh-huh. drawn of the plots. Right. It was it was going to be a lot of lettuce. It Lernersville was going to be the lettuce capital, capital of, of the, the West. West. Yes. Uh huh. And so it's very important that we try and make this happen. So maybe they could be um, at all. Y- yes. Mm-hmm. Or something. Yes. Um, so it sounds like you, I, I mean, you you showed me some of the, the, the plans and such for the festival. It looks like it's going to be a great time. It's just not going to have lettuce. Well, not much. No. 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 I mean, it, by golly, there will be some lettuce. Mm-hmm. 
some lettuce at least. Right, um, some, a little there bit. Will be, certainly, per, perhaps the scale uh, will tip a little bit more towards depictions of lettuce, mm. more so than than actual lettuce. Right. But there will be lettuce there. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna have we're gonna have salads uh, available with okay. lettuce. Um, I have uh, I have some some assistance uh, uh, mobilized. We during the break there, I, I uh, you know you helped me gather myself, mm-hmm. <laughs> which for which I am appreciative. Um, that was embarrassing, um, but you were you're exactly right. Um, everyone loses if we don't put together this festival. Exactly. Everyone yes. loses. I lose. Mm-hmm. You lose. We all lose. And most importantly, Lernersville loses. Yes. So we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get as much lettuce as we can. It's not mm-hmm. gonna be quite as impressive. We're right. not gonna um, you know, we're already sort of rethinking this whole thing, rejiggering and 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 retooling. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're not going to have the lettuce bales anymore. Okay. There was there were plans to have um, some seating, you know, like at a Renaissance fair oh. where they have oh, hay right. bales uh-huh. for seating in some places. We were going to have lettuce bales. Mm-hmm. Um, we just don't have the lettuce right to make those to make that happen bales. anymore. Yeah. Um. So instead, you know, we're gonna have we're gonna rent some folding chairs, okay, and that'll be seating. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, we're gonna we're gonna we're you, gonna have. You know, you could also just instead of lettuce bales, have hay bales. It is the right time of year for that. You know, that's a good that's a good idea. And that'd be that'd be cheaper as well. Probably. What. Well, yeah, and they and they don't rent folding chairs in Lernersville, so we've got to bring them in from outside anyhow. Uh huh. I bet you we could get some hay bales just as easy. I I bet you could. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna write that down. Just make sure that you uh, uh when you when you put in the order uh send them a Google map that sends them to the correct Lernersville. Yeah. Because we don't we don't want to repeat. No, no, we don't. No, we don't. No. Um. Uh, it would be nice if they had Google Street View out here, though. Mm. Make it easier. That would make it easier. Yeah. They haven't been by yet. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, let me let me go on my. Um, uh, sorry, folks listening at home. That uh, this is very unprofessional. I'm going to go on to my uh, my my tablet right here, and um, and let's see here. Uh, so where where exactly is Lernersville? Okay, well, there's Templeton, right? You see uh-huh. Templeton, yeah. and you see Beauregard. Yeah. It's kind of yeah. It's just not even there. I don't. Even, can you zoom in? Yeah, a I'll bit? zoom right. in a little bit. Okay, you see. Okay, so Templeton. This looks up top. on the satellite view. This looks kind of like it might be a road. Right. Well, going there's somewhere. He, yeah, and then okay, so that's Templeton, and then you see that green spot. That's the uh, that's the wetlands. Okay. It's, it's, like, it's like a park. It's a reserve. Uh-huh. And then you see the Lumpok River there. Right. And right where it does the little jig to the left. Okay, yeah, the jig to the left. That points right. Yeah, so that, uh, yeah, that's Lernersville right, right okay. over. Okay, well, let me, so I'll tell you what, uh, what I can do you is. You might can, have to just get the uh, the GPS location or something. Yeah, well, what I, you know, the great thing about Google is, like, I can actually um, click there and say that it's a place. That's and useful. Save it to Google. And. And you know it's not official or anything, but you can still point people to that. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's yeah. That's definitely Lernersville because you see over there, just to the east. Oh. See uh-huh. that weird, miscolored? That was a fire. Oh. Okay. Well, hey, the Johnson boys come come through again, huh? An impact you can see from space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's Lernersville. That's what it's all about, you know. Small, small town, big fires. That's not what I was going to say, but <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah. So uh, you'll just have hay bales brought in. I'm gonna, yeah, yeah, and uh, and and um, 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna in um we're gonna up the uh, entertainment side of things a little bit more. Okay. You know, we were it was really gonna be about the lettuce. Now it's it's gonna be less about the lettuce. Mm-hmm. The Johnsons, uh, they have um, a digital projector mm-hmm. that they that they use at home. They're gonna we're gonna tie up a big sheet in the in the park and we're gonna we're gonna show some movies nice um i think they they have they have uh free willy and anastasia oh uh which anastasia the one with that's got that funny bat in it oh okay so the animated one yeah okay yeah they own both of those um the only thing I'm not sure about is that it's supposed to be for private home viewing only. Oh. So I have to I have to sort out the details there. Uh, but it's a good idea. It, yeah, that is a you good know, idea. We're yeah. thinking. Uh-huh. Well, and uh, I also have um, have volunteered uh, the uh, the Wasting All the Time crew to go down and and perform. Absolutely. That's uh-huh. that's that's great. I, I I love the fact that uh that y'all that you you guys can, you know, fly out and Right. Well, it won't be us flying out. It'll be um uh, we're gonna send our um, our intern uh, Ted. He's got a stand up routine that uh, he's been wanting to try out. Oh, is is he funny? You know, uh, we really we we don't know. Um, we he's he's not wanted to uh, to really show us any of the routine. Well, I mean, the more the merrier. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, I mean, I, I, the way that we, had, the conversation went down, I did think that you were saying that you, you guys were going to all come out. Right. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, that's, that would have been, that would have been ideal, but, um, in that the festival is right when I'm starting rehearsals for a new opera and, and also, um, Cody's going to be out of town at a convention that weekend. Um, and when I called Dave, he just. Well, he's not available. Uh, oh, oh, well, you know, if you're not available, I'm sure he's very busy with something. Um, yeah. Um, no. And, 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 and how uh, I guess I, I should be. <laughs> But Ted, you know, he's I, he's great. You know, he's uh thankful for what I can get. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess at this point I I really should, you know, let people know that you know, it's the the Learnersville Lettuce Festival mm-hmm. such as it such yeah. as it is. Um is is this weekend. It's um Right. It was it was initially scheduled to be for like a 3-day weekend. Mhm. But uh frankly, I think we might cut that down to 2. Mhm. Maybe wait until Saturday. To start instead of Friday, that way oh, we have a little go. bit more time to sort of. And people will be working anyway on Friday, you know. It's... Right? Yeah, people. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Cause, yeah, because it is the people outside of Learnersville that we're trying to get here. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean the people in Learnersville could come whenever, but uh, we, it's all about tourism. And that's, right. Means bringing people in from the outside, outside money, outside right thoughts and. Wallets. Uh huh. Exactly. That, that's what it all comes down to in the end, isn't it? Well, I certainly want to get paid. <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> um. So. Um, oh, yep. There it is. Okay. Uh. Well, I didn't. I didn't want to say anything until. Uh, until I was sure. Uh. But. But uh, Eric, I um. I need to let you know. That um, during the break, uh, as part of our little talk, I um, I sent a text message to um, one of my acquaintances over at over at Wright Industries, um, mm-hmm. Chef Kita, right, um, telling Chef Kita about your situation, and Chef Kita has actually arranged. Um, to 
airlift in for 14 tons of lettuce to Lernersville. Um, Ohio? No. Your Lernersville. Uh, the, for the, for, for the, the lettuce, lettuce festival. festival. Um, 14 tons is a lot more than I asked for. Um, tons? Tons, yes. Of lettuce. 28,000 pounds? 28,000 pounds of lettuce? Yes. Of, of different kinds? Of, uh, yes, and also, um, at the lettuce festival? Yes, at the lettuce festival. And oh and and Chef Kita and Wright Industries are also going to throw in um fifteen hundred complimentary cucumber swords. Lettuce at the lettuce festival? Yes. There's gonna be lettuce at the lettuce Let- festival. At Lernersville. Not Ohio. Not Ohio. 28,000 pounds? Yes. So you uh, you may want to... Of lettuce? Of lettuce. At the lettuce festival? Yes, at the lettuce festival. Lettuce. <clears throat> Whew. So you may want to cancel that hay bale order there. Hay bale. Because you're going to have lettuce bales. Going to have lettuce bales. Bales of lettuce. You all right there, Eric? I mean, it's going to be the leaf lettuce. Like that. Uh-huh, yeah. Like like green leaf lettuce. Yep. And red red leaf lettuce. Uh-huh. And 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 there's, and, and there's gonna be romaine, yeah, yeah, romaine lettuce, uh huh, for Caesar salad, yep, and grilling, uh huh, and then, and there's gonna be the crisp, crisp head lettuce, yes, like yes, iceberg, uh huh. There's, there's gonna be there's gonna be it's gonna be there, it, yeah. There's gonna be like iceberg crisp uh-huh. head lettuce there. Iceberg lettuce is gonna be and, there. But, and what about butterhead? Uh, Do they butter, remember the yeah. butterhead lettuce? Yeah, the butter leaf does lettuce? She, does, she get a, does, does Chef Kita know about the, the butterhead le- and the summer crisp? Yeah. Summer yeah. crisp Chef, lettuce? Chef Kita knows about all of the lettuce. Would, uh, the the French crisp? Mm-hmm. And and the the, Batav- the Batavian? Yep. Of the, the same... The, it's going to be both? It's... it Yeah. Yeah, Chef Kita was very thorough. What well, is there, is there, is there gonna is there gonna is there gonna be, oh lettuce is there gonna is there gonna be a stem lettuce you know like the for the Chinese Let, kind the uh uh yes actually which is sort of s- odd somehow the seed stock uh huh um yeah I don't know where Chef Kita got all this lettuce but um what is it lettuce ah uh, ah. Uh, I think I have I have to say um we 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 we're we're, 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 we're back on mm-hmm. for a 3 day 3 days 3 day lettuce extravaganza Friday, Saturday and Sunday this and weekend Sunday, this weekend Learnersville Fairgrounds Uh-huh there's a uh we'll we'll post a link to uh, the actual location so none of you end up in Ohio well, we 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 we, 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 <laughs> we will include latitude and longitude mm-hmm. and and you know what, elevation just in case. Right. Don't yeah, want people showing know. up too high, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the sky, or, or it, flying we, into a, a a mountain or something. No, we don't. We don't want that because then that would almost certainly be Learnersville, Ohio, because we don't have mountains here. Right. Yeah. Right. This. We, it, the, the door. The, the doors open. Um. At ten thirty, mm-hmm. and I have never, I have never been more excited to say <sighs> let us feast 
at the Learnersville Lettuce Festival. Thank you so much for joining us, folks. Uh, again, this has been another installment of the Wasting All the Time Open Access Interview Series. My name is John. I've been here with Mr. Eric McDermott. Lettuce! Thanks very much. Woo! And good night, folks. If you enjoy the show, please rate and review us on iTunes. Also, like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash timewastepod. You can follow us on Twitter, at timewastepod. Send us an email at timewastepod at gmail.com. You can also find us on Tumblr and Blogger. Um, is Lernersville, Ohio on the map? <laughs> 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 <laughs>